Registration and reporting for tractor trailer greenhouse gas for small fleets. The purpose of this video is to show how to register and report your small fleet in ARB's truck regulation, upload compliance, and reporting system for the tractor trailer greenhouse gas regulation. This video is designed for small fleets who wish to take advantage of the small fleet compliance option. Small fleets for this regulation are those with 20 or fewer 53 foot and longer box type trailers regardless of where they operate. The registration deadline for the small fleet compliance option is September 1st, 2012. Each year you will need to report which trailer you bring into compliance to meet the schedule below. This reporting must be done by December 31st of each compliance year. The compliance year is the calendar year that is prior to the deadlines listed below. For example, the compliance year for the first deadline of January 1st, 2014 is 2013. Therefore, by December 31st of the year 2013, you must report the trailers in your fleet that you have selected to meet the 25% compliance requirement. The Small Fleet Compliance option allows small fleets to phase in their SmartWay aerodynamic requirements, such as trailer skirts and trailer fairings, by percentage, with 25% being in compliance by January 1, 2014, 50% by January 1, 2015, 75% by January 1, 2016, and 100% by January 1, 2017. Please note that this compliance schedule is only applicable to 2010 and older model year 53 foot or longer box type trailers that travel in California. This video is separated into four chapters. The chapters include deadlines, trailer registration, trailer reporting, and helpful hints. The helpful hints chapter offers several tips for navigating the system. If you would like to view a specific chapter, you can click on the tab on the left hand side of the screen, otherwise you can choose to view the video all the way through. A simple way to access the tractor trailer greenhouse gas reporting site is through ARB's Truck Stop webpage. In your browser's address bar, please type in www.arb.ca.gov forward slash truck stop and then hit enter. This is the Truck Stop homepage where you can easily access the Tractor Trailer Greenhouse Gas Program page to read more about the greenhouse gas regulation and view various fact sheets. Now on the right hand side you will see six reporting and registering buttons. To access the greenhouse gas reporting site, please click on the green icon that reads Tractor Trailer GHG Reporting. A message box will pop up to verify that you are indeed trying to report for the greenhouse gas regulation and not the truck and bus. If you are reporting for the greenhouse gas regulation, click OK. Otherwise, click Cancel. You are now at the Tractor Trailer GHG portal. If you already have an account with the Tractor Trailer GHG reporting site, please log in and skip ahead to Chapter 3 for instructions on registering and reporting. If you do not, please watch the rest of this chapter to help you create an account and log in for the first time. It is important to note that the truck and bus reporting username and password cannot be used with the tractor trailer GHG reporting site. If you do not have a GHG account, click on the request an account button under the login field. You are now at the request an account page. Please fill out your first and last name, enter an email address, choose your own username, and input your telephone number. Please note that you cannot choose your own password. Instead, one will be emailed to you to the email that you have provided. So please verify that it is entered correctly. 
Save this email or write down the information because the password assigned to you cannot be changed and you will need it in the future to report annually. Please click Create an account when you are finished filling out the fields. On this page, you are notified that your username and password have been emailed to you. Once you retrieve your username and password, please click Continue. Once again, you get a pop-up box prompting you that you're reporting for the greenhouse gas regulation. Click OK. Once you have retrieved your username and password, please input the information in the username field and password field. Please note that the password field is case sensitive. Once you've inputted your username and password, please click log in. When you log in for the first time, you will be greeted with the reporting role page that looks like this. It'll ask you what your relationship to the fleet that you're reporting for is. If you are the owner, please click I am the owner, an official, or an authorized employee of the fleet or fleets, and then click proceed. On this page, it will ask if you want to add a new fleet. If you do, please click add a new fleet and then click proceed. This is the add new fleet owner information page. On this page, you will enter information regarding your business or company information. Most of the fields are self-explanatory, but I will briefly cover those which you may have questions about. Under the Company Agency Information section, there are fields titled Name of Responsible Person and Title of Responsible Person. Fleet owners may designate someone other than themselves to be the responsible person for completing the registration and reporting information. In this section, you will also see a field that is labeled Parent Company Truckers or Doors ID. This section is not required, but if you have a Truckers or a Doors ID, feel free to input the information in this field. Otherwise, continue on to the next section. Please fill out the street address where your company is located. If your mailing address and location address are all of the same as your street address, please check the box same as street address on both sections and then continue on. Under the motor carrier identification number section, you will want to input any type of identification number you or your company have. If you do not have one, then enter NA in capital letters in the first empty field. You may continue on. Under the optional compliance schedule section, you will see a drop down bar. Please select small fleet option for which you are reporting for and then enter the number of 53 foot or longer box top trailers in your fleet. After you have entered the number of trailers in your fleet, please review your information and then check the box to attest that the information you have entered above is true and correct, and then go ahead and add new fleet. This is a fleet list page. You will find your trucker's ID, which is a unique ID given to each person that registers and reports. From this page, you can also view and edit your business information or request for your account to be deleted by one of our staff. You will have 72 hours to cancel your request for a deletion, and you will need to enter your birth date to verify that the request is true and valid. To access the home page where you can register and report, click on your fleet name. You will be asked if you want to report your fleet. Hit the OK button. This is the GHG homepage. At the top of the homepage, you will find a toolbar that you can use to help you navigate through the reporting website. However, you can access the same information using the hyperlinks below. To begin registering as a small fleet, click the general trailer information under the online trailer reporting section. On this page, you will enter each trailer in your fleet. Again, most of the fields are self-explanatory, but I will run through the fields you may not be familiar with. 
For question 10, please indicate if the trailer you are reporting is a dry van or a refrigerated van. If you select refrigerated van, you will be asked two additional questions. One would be the model year of your refrigerated van, and the other would be the model year of the refrigerated van's TRU engine. Please make sure that the information you enter is correct. For question 11, you will be asked for the reporting purpose, in other words, the operational status of your trailer. If you want to take advantage of the small fleet phase-in option, your trailer list must include all affected trailers that operate in and out of California. However, the compliance percentage will be based on your trailers that operate in the state of California. The two most frequently used reporting purposes are OCS option, which are trailers that operate in California and watch a report for the small fleet option, and OOS option, which are trailers that operate exclusively outside of California. When you are done entering your trailer information, you can enter click enter data and clear all fields, which saves your trailer information and clears all of the fields that you can add another trailer, or you can click enter data and add similar which also saves your trailer information and will only clear some of the fields and will allow you to enter a similar trailer. Or you can click clear all fields, which will not save your data and will clear all the fields. Once you have saved your trailer information, at the top of the page it will say data entered successfully. You can also scroll down to see your trailer fleet list. This lists all of the trailers in your fleet. Through your fleet list, you can edit and delete a trailer. When you have finished entering all of your trailer's information, you have now completed the registration portion of the process. If you are done with the reporting system, you will need to finalize all your information. Please click on the Finalize Reporting button at the top of the page. This is to ensure that everything you entered is true and correct. It is recommended that you finalize your data every time you make a change to any of your information before you log out of the system. Once you have clicked on Finalize Reporting, check the box to test your information is true and correct. You will then need to check the box next to the applicable statement of understanding. For the small fleet option, you will need to click the box that is for the optional trailer fleet compliance schedule. Finally, check the box at the bottom of the page and then type in your full name and phone number. After you press finalize all changes, the system will let you know in red at the top of the screen that the data was successfully finalized. We will now explain how to report your trailers. The reporting deadline for Small Fleet Compliance Year 1 is December 31, 2013. To report your trailers, click on your fleet name. A box will pop up asking if you want to report for your fleet. Click OK, otherwise click Cancel. Scroll to the bottom of the home page and under the Online Trailer Reporting section, click the Compliance Plan Reporting hyperlink. On this page, you will need to identify which trailers will be brought into compliance in which years. Please note that to retrofit a trailer means to install one of the many available and approved SmartWay aerodynamic requirements. If you scroll down to the center of the page, you will see a box that reads Phase In Trailer List. This list includes only trailers that are included in calculating your compliance percentage. Notice that any out-of-state trailers you have or any other exempt trailers will not be included in this list. You can refer to the table above as a guide of when each trailer will need to be brought into compliance. In this example, one trailer will need to be brought into compliance during the Compliance Year 1 threshold, which is before January 1, 2014, and the second trailer will need to be brought into compliance during the Compliance Year 3 threshold, which is before January 1st, 2016. Now back to the trailer list. Under the heading that reads Add Update Compliance Year Assignment, select from the drop-down menu which year you brought the trailer into compliance. 
Notice they are listed as Compliance Year 1, which is January 1, 2014, through Compliance Year 4, which is January 1, 2017. For our trailer, we will assign it to Compliance Year 1. You will also need to select the trailer status change as either retrofitted, restricted from California operation, or removed from fleet. For our trailer, we will select retrofitted as an example. After you select the trailer status change, you will need to type in the date that the changes occurred. We will type in June 15, 2013 as an example. Type it in as the year 2013 dash the month 06 dash the day 15. Once you have entered in the dates and click the submit ads and updates, a screen will pop up to let you know that trailer status changes are permanent. To ensure that this is the action you want to perform, click OK. After you click OK, the report trailer status change and the date field will be locked. If you are done with the reporting system, you will need to finalize all your information. Please click on the finalize reporting button at the top of the page. This is to ensure that everything you entered is true and correct. It is recommended that you finalize your data every time you make a change to any of your information before you log out of the system. Once you have clicked on finalize reporting, check the box to test your information is true and correct. You will then need to check the box next to the applicable statement of understanding. For the small fleet option, you will need to click the box that is for the optional trailer fleet compliance schedule. Finally, check the box at the bottom of the page and then type in your full name and phone number. After you press finalize all changes, the system will let you know in red at the top of the screen that the data was successfully finalized. To return to the home page at any time, you can easily access it by clicking the home link located at the top of the page in the red toolbar. Then you can access your fleet list in case you need to make any changes in the future by simply clicking on the Change Working Fleet and then click OK. Here you can change your business information or request for your account to be deleted. To return home, simply click on your fleet list name and then click OK. If you are registering for any exemptions, such as local or short haul, you can access entry to report for these exemptions through our toolbar menu at the top of the page. First, you will want to scroll over the Report Online link. There are local haul trailers and short haul tractors or local haul tractors. You can also access the same information with our hyperlinks. Please note, the field that reads Current Status of Reported Data. If you have already finalized all changes to your fleet, the status should say Finalized until changes are made. This means that all your data is saved. Until you make any changes, you will have to finalize it again. The Finalized Reporting link can be found at the top of every page in the red toolbar menu. The Fleet Summary link at the top of the page on the red toolbar will take you to the page with all of your company information. It is important to check this at least once to make sure that you have entered all of your information correctly. To return to the home page, remember you can always click the home link at the top of the page. If you need more information, you may visit the tractor trailer greenhouse gas link on the truck stop website or call the diesel hotline. Your compliance with this regulation will go a long way towards saving fuel and reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Thank you.